hello everyone at Healing in the Kingdom. It's so great to be here. We're live for our prophecy call where we're going to prophesy over different people who have requested words and we may have some other words as well just generally. Feel free to comment if you would like a live word. Um, otherwise, we're going to jump into it. I'll introduce the team that we've got today. We've got the lovely Carol Joy, um, who will be here sharing some words. We've also got Helen. Hi, Helen. Um, Hi. I think she's from Canada. Um, I'm here in New Zealand. And we've got uh, Katerina. Hi, Katerina. Um, great to have each one of you here. Um, so I think we'll just launch straight into it. Um, we had some requests on our um, initial um, post about this call yesterday, and so we'll go through those. We also had some requests through the Google form. Those are the ways that you can request a word. Um, but yeah, and so we'll go through some of the people that did that. Obviously, if a word resonates with you and it's not for you, just um, grab a hold of that. Like God is speaking to us in so many different ways. So yeah, just um, feel free to do that. So I'm going to ask Carol Joy first. Um, we had a request from Virginia do you have to share. OK, um, so Virginia, the as I was reflecting and, and praying about, about this and waiting with the Lord, the word gold was highlighted to me. And in my mind's eye, I saw an, an arm with what I believe was like molten gold. It was like running down it, dripping down. And then the image changed and it was like the arm, the neck and the torso. And again, with this molten gold um, laying down. And this is what came to me. So this is, as gold is refined in the fire, so too have I refined you. This season is a season of joy and my lessons will flow upon you as gold. Know that I am your shield and your righteousness. Let my armor be your guide to the places and people to whom you will go. And I was like, your armor, guide, Lord, what's this? And, and the words about the heart, the feet and the head, again, were highlighted to me. And then I had Psalms 26 and 27, which is about intimacy and about really digging deep into the Lord. So that's what I thought. Amazing. Thank you, Carol Joy. Um, just to let you know, if you're commenting, the best um, the best way to do it is there's a link at the top there that should um, allow you access to StreamYard so we can see your name. Otherwise, um, we can't see who you are. Um, but thank you, Carol Joy. Um, I just wanted to do a shout out to our lovely friend Katrina. It's her birthday today. So happy birthday. We won't <laughs> sing to you today because that would be awkward. But um, <laughs> wishing you a happy birthday. And you also requested a word for your birthday. So um, Helen, did you have something to share for Katrina? Uh, yes, I did. Thank you. Um, yeah, definitely. Happy birthday, Katrina. It's, it's wonderful to have another birthday. And I did have a scripture for you today, and it's found in 50, <coughs> Psalm 57. I'll just read it out. And uh, it's uh, verse 9 to 11. I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will sing of, your, of you among the peoples. For great is your love reaching to the heavens your faithfulness reaches into the skies be exalted O god above the heavens let the glory be all over the earth and when i finished reading that i did get a picture for you and uh, i really think it's it's kind of a it's how god sees you in heaven in the heavenly realms and i saw this beautiful blue uh ribbon um bow and it was like one of those old fashioned um, dresses that you would put a bow on the back, you know, and it was kind of like a party dress. And you were in this uh, midst of some people. And uh, in this situation, they're all clapping you and celebrating you. And I just felt that the Lord was just uh, celebrating who you are, Katrina, and that he is well pleased with you. And these people are just celebrating around you. And it's just a very joyful uh, picture of, I think, how God sees you in his kingdom, that we are to have a childlike heart 
And so it's just celebrating you today on your birthday. I love that, Helen. That's beautiful. And just to say, I know Katrina and she has a real childlike personality and a real childlike, childlike faith. So I love that about her. Um, next, we have we had a request on the Google form from a man who wanted um, some insight or some prayer and prophetic declaration into a marriage situation. So Katerina, are you able to uh, comment on that? Yeah, so I really feel like, I really feel God's heart for his marriage and it just breaks his heart that you guys are struggling um, and, and just know that he's always with you. But um, he, he said, I heard that like marriage, your marriage is special and very dear to his heart. And as long as you stay connected with him, he will not let you fail. Um, and so I just, yeah, I, I hope that encourages you guys um, to at least um, like work out be patient is is like the um was what the main the main theme uh that i was getting for his for his marriage so just hang in there um god is with you and and he will turn it all for good great thanks katarina i also saw an image of that man um and you were on your knees before the lord and you were weeping but um i just saw, saw you put your hands out and just give him all of that like you were just handing it over to the lord and he was taking that burden off you and he was giving you wisdom i like i could see him it was like um little sparks of electricity going straight into your mind and and he was giving you wisdom about different situations within that relationship he was giving you wisdom about what to say and how to um proceed and it was like he was lighting up your path and each little step you, you may not see further down the path like a long way but each little step there was um, a little bit illuminated right before your feet and you could just take one more step and one more step so i just really felt for you that the lord is really leading you in this situation he's right there with you he's holding your hand he's comforting you and he's loving on you so much and he he's the one that fully understands what's going on so yeah just be encouraged god loves you so so much um we have a request from um another lady her name is jen and um she posted on the facebook um post and could carol joy could you bring a word for her yes um jen said that she was celebrating her 50th so again happy birthday to you but as quickly as I said in my head, oh, 50, this thought came to me, 50 is the new 70. And I was like, whoa, what's that all about, Lord? 50 is the new 70. But then this is what came. 50 is your jubilee. My yoke is upon you and your tender heart is moving with mine. My love surrounds you and I will guide you as you move forward. And then this song came into my head and I, I could hear the first part of it. And it's sing, sing, O barren land, water is coming to the thirsty. Though you are empty, I am the world. Come to me, will, will, well, come to me, I will provide. I, look, I looked up the lyrics and it actually, the line says, draw from me, I will provide. And it's called Isaiah's Song um, featuring Chandler Moore. And I've had it on repeat. And and again, I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful song, and, and I hope it really does bless you as you kind of like dig into that. And this phrase, draw from me, and again, this, this word just came just before we came on. Everything you need for life and godliness is to be found in God. And in 2 Peter 1 verse 3, it says, by his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know him, the one who called us to himself by means of his marvellous glory and excellence. And it's this real picture of intimacy. It's like 50 is your jubilee. That's an amazing. 
that's going to be amazing. I'm going to look forward to hearing what that's all about. But that is this picture of, of intimacy and God's love for you. But that song, Sing Sing, oh Baron, have a listen to that. And see yeah. What amazing carol joy thank you and if these words are resonating please post um let us know that you know these are resonating with you and um it's great to hear testimonies or feedback from the prophetic so that we know we're on track but um yeah feel free to comment even if you're watching the replay later just comment mm -hmm. um we had a request from marion and I just wondered, Helen, are you able to, do you have a word or a prayer for Marion? Uh, well, I'd like to uh, pray for her, actually. I, I didn't get anything before the call. Like I was asking God for something for her. And um, I don't know what came to mind, but I guess I'll just speak it out because I've uh, because that's the way to go, right? And uh, I was just thinking about Maid Marian, and I don't know whether you're familiar with that story of um, Robin Hood. And uh, it was coming to my mind, and I thought, no, I don't think that's it. But it really is. It's it's coming again, so I'm going to go for it. And uh, you know how she was beautifully dressed, and she was uh, like the wife of, of Robin Hood. And Robin Hood was... Um, this guy that went out and robbed the rich to give to the poor. And, and she was, you know, his um, kind of right hand man, so to speak there. So I just want to pray a blessing over you, uh, Marion. I don't know how that resonates with you as a maid Marion, but uh, I just see you in that kind of medieval costume of a dress and, and the braids in your hair and uh, i just thank you for marion i thank you for the gift god that you have given her to support somebody else who is uh, really quite um an adventurous and a person uh, and uh, that he, he is a person that um really uh, fights for righteousness in the areas that you've given him and you have given him a beautiful wife, Marion. So I just want to thank you for Marion. And I ask, Father, that you would just uh, give her the ability to support that person and uh, that she would be confident in the gifts, the talents and abilities that you have given her, Father, mm -hmm. that she's a beautiful lady and, uh, and she's well worth celebrating, Father. And I just thank you for... I'm just seeing a musical instrument that, like a tambourine, uh, that uh, that she's been celebrated at this day. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Marion, I also just as Helen was beginning to speak, um, I saw an eagle just out of the corner of my eye, just sort of fly past. And I've um, been having a lot of conversations about eagles lately, but uh, yeah, and I just sensed that. Um, there was a real eagle anointing on your life. And to me, that speaks of the prophetic. Um, it speaks of someone who can see a great distance. And um, someone told me the other day, it was quite beautiful, that eagles um, have to get fresh meat, fresh food every day, and how that speaks to fresh revelation of the Lord every day. And I just sense that the Lord is revealing himself to you more and more, and it's on a daily basis. You're getting new revelation and new insight into things every day. So be encouraged that um, God is definitely using you and he's put you up in the heights where you can see above all the stuff and you can look from a greater vantage point. Um, yeah, so we have a couple of requests in the chat. I'm just gonna um, mention them so that um, the ladies- Can I just Think, yeah, just as we're going, as as Helen was talk, talking, this might not be relevant, but I wrote down the word provision and also think it was around when Helen was talking about um, Robin Hood, how he robbed from the poor to give to the, but for anything that has been robbed from this lady, Mar Marion, will be given to her and this sense of provision. Um, whether that's financial or in other areas, but those were the things that, so anything that has been taken from her mm. will be given to mm. her. Awesome. Amen. Amen. So um, just for you guys to have a think, because I'm not sure you can see the comments, but we have a request um, from 
someone who's asking for a friend and the friend's initials are WK, just for a prophetic word for her. And um, we also have a request from Marie Pearl for a prophetic word. So just keep that in the back of your minds. We will come to you shortly. Um, now on the Google form, we had another request from a lady who wanted help, prayer and prophetic declaration over her mindsets around um, um, fathers, father figures. So Katerina, are you able to speak into that situation? Yeah. Um felt like um i i sense like don't worry he god's gonna get you through this um and he wants to uh sorry not yet <laughs> um he just he said keep your eyes on him um and the verse from matthew 7 7 where it says uh, this is not verbatim but it's like seek and you will find uh find ask and you will receive um I'm paraphrasing here. <laughs> um, basically, just sit with God and it just give him everything. Be vulnerable with him and just like lay down what's on your heart of hearts mm -hmm. and um, every like problem that you have, every everything. Um, but specifically for what you asked for, just give it to God and the Holy Spirit will guide you on what to do and how to heal you um emotional like like heal your soul because because what i heard was god um wants to heal your soul first and then your physical body will be he like healed after afterwards mm -hmm. um so that's what i got for her yeah i wonder if you might just pray into that situation as well katarina mm -hmm. sure um father god i just lift up this lady to you and I just pray that you heal her heart, Lord, and her soul. And just just take out, we just, I, I just ask that you guide her on how you want her to heal her soul and heal the trauma that she had. Um, and if it's through Dr. Darlene's programs, that's great. If it's another way, however, it's whatever your will is, Lord. Mm -hmm. um is what we ask for and and that she will come out stronger on the other side after she goes through the healing process and she will become the person that she you mm -hmm. intended her to be and that that she desires to be in jesus name amen 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 awesome we had a request from louise um and it was just about a situation with um, her. Um, it was just about her being a grandmother. And Louise, I just wanted to encourage you to say that um, the way that God sees you, He's so full of love for you. I just saw you walking around in a garden of flowers, and it was so beautiful. Uh, and you were just there walking with the Lord, like it was almost like the Garden of Eden. And he was just blessing you and loving on you and saying, you're doing great. And I just got the impression that, um, you know, sometimes people um, say things to us or put things on us that is a projection of what's in their own heart. And it's not necessarily what God is saying. And so just mm -hmm. use your discernment around that, because the way I could see you with God, he was just like so in awe of you. He was so in love with you and um, it was a really beautiful picture. And so if there's people speaking to you, um, things that are negative or um, just not not part of your identity, like don't um, agree with that stuff because mm -hmm. you know it's gonna bring you down. So agree with what is truth, agree with how God sees you and the identity that he's given you. And I saw you just sitting with the Lord and asking him how he sees you. And so I encourage you to do that. Like. Just sit with the Lord and say, you know, what is it that you see in me? And I also just felt to read um, that you could read Psalm 139 and just and, and look through that and let God search your heart and do those things. But just really um, get get into your identity, get into that that love heart from God. Um, so yeah, we just stand with you in that situation and we just believe that 
you know, you are an amazing grandmother and mm -hmm. uh, we love you and God loves you. And so just be blessed. Um, does anyone have anything they'd like to share just on either any of the other requests or anything I separate? Got, I got a word for um, WK. Or yeah. <laughs> um, it just came to me. I, I heard be adamant. Um, you have the confidence and power to do what your heart desires and nothing is impossible with God. So I don't know what the situation is, but that's what I got. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And I just, for you as well, just saw an arrow being fired and it was being fired with such precision and accuracy and it, and it was hitting the target and i just felt like god saying that you are hitting the target and he's hitting the target with you and um you know there's not you you don't need to deviate to the left or to the right because um you're on track and don't question where god is taking you um because he has been leading you through your situation and he is pointing you in the right direction so yeah, yeah. Do you, do you ever play that game, you know, with number plates when you've got the letters and then you try to fill in a word? When yeah. the WK came up, the word work, work um, came and just this sense that you, you're not having to work it, but this set of who you're meant to be, but resting in him uh, and he will do the work through you kind of thing. So I was just like, yeah, yeah. Awesome. That's great. <laughs> Yeah. Helen, um, did you have anything for anyone that you'd like to share? Uh, well, I have, uh, just generally, I, uh, I did have, I was back into uh, Psalm uh, 23, wow. and that's been on my mind this week. And um, would you like me to share about that? Yeah, I'd love that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I know I was chatting about it when we had our prayer and a prophecy call last Thursday. And uh, the Lord just keeps talking to me about this table, the importance of the, the mm. table, and it's a table of blessing. And uh, I just felt him saying that, um, you know, to people in general, that this table is a table where everyone's welcome, no matter what you know, your past experience might have been in your family, with friends, it may be in a church situation, whatever the circumstances of your life, um, that everybody is, is welcome at this table of blessing and fellowship, that Jesus Christ died for you and that he is welcoming to the table. And this is a very important table. Like we have dining room tables, we have kitchen tables and uh uh, you know, you can go to a restaurant and sit at a table. But mm -hmm. he was reminding me that this is actually the king's table, that he is inviting you by name to the king's table. And this is a table of abundance and it's mm -hmm. a table of blessing. And everybody is welcome at this table. So however you feel about yourself or your circumstances, maybe you think you've sin too much or whatever i don't know what the circumstances would be in your thoughts but he just wants you to know that you are always welcome at this table his table is always set for you and he wants to spend time with you uh in intimate relationship like when you're sitting at a table you know it's a table of fellowship and you know you have conversations with people you know you have good things on the table and this is a table of blessings. So I just wanted to add that uh, this week to um, that word. And it just gave me Matthew 5. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. So come to the table of blessing. The Lord's mm -hmm. waiting for you. I love that, Helen. That's so beautiful. Um, right. Does anyone else? I, um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I also got a word for Marie Pearl. Um, I, I heard you are a beauty and you are mine. Um, nothing comes to you unless it goes through me. So don't worry, we are on the right track. Mm -hmm. So 
I just yeah. submit that to you. <laughs> no, I'm not so sure good. what it's about. <laughs> when you said the word beauty, it was just super highlighted for me. And um, yeah, just the beauty of the Lord is on you. Uh, your face shines and um, his glory just comes out of you. And I also felt that anything you're doing, Marie Pearl, like with with your hands and your work life and um, business, that um, that beauty is emanating out of that as well. And yeah, when the Lord sees you, he calls you beautiful. Um, so yeah, just be blessed with that. Mm -hmm. Um, Carol Joy, I know that you shared something amazing about a painting you did. Our lovely Carol Joy is an artist, and you can see it painting behind her. But I wondered if you might want to share that. Yeah, um, I was just um, doing, it's not a trick, it's for, it's a picture of a tree, but the top of the tree, then two out. But I was doing the bottom bit, which is all roots. And, and I've done an, another painting about roots but this one kept on being highlighted and I was asking the Lord if I should share something around that um, so really it is about us being rooted and established in Christ the deeper our roots go um, the stronger we will be and sometimes we don't see anything really happening I'm going to show you this just very quickly just very quickly oh, like, wow. We might not see anything happening um, and we think we might think that we're barren. Um, and that actually that goes back to that song about a barren land, but that God add the, le add the leaves and the fruit. And, but our job is to stay connected with him and to be rooted. So pray for all of us that our roots will go deep in into Christ, into the word, into those places of intimacy. And actually, as we rest, we don't have to work at growing, we just be, and the rest will come and and the fruit of our lives will, will show. So, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm even receiving that work for myself. I'm taking that one. <laughs> yeah, so that, yeah, that's what I just like to share. That's awesome. Thank you. I love that painting, Carol Joy. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, and so someone on Facebook as well has said the same. Uh, we have a request from Leah just saying if there's anything for her that she would gladly accept it. Um, so I'm just going to share something. You guys have a think about Leah, but um, I'm just going to share something the Lord showed me before the call. Um, that there's someone who is having some crippling anxiety and is just really struggling. They uh, feel stuck. I'm not sure what's going on in your life, but that there's um, just this sense of stress and fear and feeling stuck and being overwhelmed. And um, yeah, I just felt the Lord uh, use peace as like a weapon and he was just coming into your life with peace as a weapon. And it was um, just breaking off all that anxiety, all that stress, everything that was um, come, trying to come against you. He was bringing that peace down and it was just almost cutting and breaking all that stuff off of you. And um, then there's those verses in Philippians chapter four about um, anxiety being anxious for nothing and putting your requests before God. And I just felt as you um, put your requests to him, um, that crazy peace, that peace that surpasses understanding, that transcends all knowledge, um, it's going to guard your heart and your mind. And so um, like that anxiety affects hearts and minds. It affects both those places. But there was just this guard of protection um, so the peace is like a weapon, but it's also a guard that goes around you like a shield. And I just saw that um, coming in and just as as I declared that, just bringing you relief and release from um, that situation. Um, yeah, but does anyone have anything for Leah or anyone else? I don't know if this is for Leah, but it's... I heard... Oh, go, go for it, Katrina. It's okay. Go ahead, Carol Joy. Sorry. <laughs> no, I was just going to say physical thing no, of, watching, a, it, of watching it go from dark to light behind Kat. 
um, it's like you almost from dark to light and there's there's something in that for us and and it's like you're doing the thing you're meant to be doing and again you might be maybe somebody's sitting in a dark place but again it's this thing we're saying as we focus on on Christ as we focus on the thing the darkness will come to light and and yeah there's something about that so maybe yeah I just suffered that 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 really struck me suddenly like oh wow it's like and, and, you don't, and you don't notice it when it happens mm -hmm. but it's almost okay. as we keep on our eyes fixed on Christ we we're in the darkness but the light will come and it and it maybe happens gradually but it becomes a thing that we become aware of and we can sit in the light so yeah yeah that's so good carol joy i didn't notice behind me but yeah it's the morning here and the sun's come up now obviously yeah. <laughs> but yeah katerina what were you gonna say um so for leah i heard uh you are his shining star um you sparkle so bright and he's proud of um you being the light jesus asked us to be even though that you may not always notice it Mm. so yeah that's that's so <laughs> I love that awesome yeah was there anything else um from the team I think we're almost at the end we've gone through all the requests but if anyone had anything further to share please feel free Helen I do feel like you have something but no pressure <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just seeing a lot of blood of Jesus, you know, I'm just seeing um, just God celebrating, uh, mm -hmm. you know, us, uh, that he has died for us, that we are the treasure of his heart. Like, you know, if you're feeling less than, than who God's made you to be, I just want to assure you that you are everything he wants you to be right now in whatever situation you are. He has died for you. You're precious. You're precious mm -hmm. to him in his sight. He just really, really loves you. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Well, and this is anything else. I think we might close out. But um, it's been a blessing for me. I've loved the words and I've like taken a hold of some of those. Um, so, yeah, we just want to thank you all for putting in your requests. We come here once a month. That's the fourth week of the month. That we do the prophecy call so um, feel free to put in your requests throughout the month if there's anything that you want um, a prophetic word for you can be specific or you can be general and just say I want a word um, or you can say I need a word about this situation in particular but yeah we want to just bless everyone and say we hope you have an awesome day week month and um, we'll see you again soon loads of love see you bye